Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have about two weeks remaining to campaign. Both candidates are taking different paths in the home stretch, but the road to the White House goes through a handful of key battleground states where the candidates and their surrogates are focusing their time, money, and energy. CBS's Craig Boswell reports from the White House. Hillary Clinton's entrance in Manchester, New Hampshire, drew attention to her widening campaign message, appearing with Senator Elizabeth Warren and the state's Democratic Governor Maggie Hassan, who is trying to unseat Republican Senator Kelly Ayotte. Because we've got to break through the gridlock. Clinton is now focusing on helping congressional candidates as well as battling her Republican rival. We've got to make it clear that Donald is not on the side of American workers or American families. Donald Trump is midway through a multi-day campaign blitz in the must-win state of Florida. In addition to a pair of rallies Monday, the GOP nominee is holding a trio of smaller roundtables where Trump slammed recent polls. I actually think we're winning, and what they do is they show these phony polls where they, you know, where they look at Democrats, like the ABC phony poll that just came out, totally phony poll. The CBS News Battleground Tracker poll shows Trump trailing Clinton by three points in Florida, where Monday early voting got underway in portions of the state. Over a million voters have already cast their ballots, and today 50 of the 67 counties are beginning early voting. At this point, 61,000 uh, vote-by-mail ballots have already been returned. Early voting also began in Alaska, Arkansas, Colorado, Massachusetts, Texas, and Wisconsin. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. In our latest web poll, we asked if you are concerned about Donald Trump's recent statements about not accepting the election results. Nearly 18% said yes, around 81% said no, about 1% were undecided. Remember, this is not a scientific poll, but one that represents the opinions of those who chose to participate. We'll have a new web poll tonight at 6.